Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I will be doing a thrift haul of everything that I bought this summer. So let's get started because I got a lot of stuff. This top I got from a charity shop on Botanic in Belfast and I really like the design of it and I don't have enough tops like this that just fit nicely, they're casual looking. I really like this, it's royal blue on me. I think if you have pale skin, if you're cool toned, this sort of blue looks very, very nice. So this is the next top. It's originally from ASOS, their workout 4505. I think the colors suit me as well. I love it when workout stuff and just any tops have these little things to put your thumbs through. So yeah, I wouldn't pair them with these black leggings. It's this green color on the top. I have leggings, gym leggings that are that exact colour. So that would be like a really super cute outfit to wear to the gym because I want to start the gym again. And I've been watching a lot of Claudia Walsh's videos and she's just really motivated me to get my act together and go back to the gym. And buying stuff from the charity shop is really, really good for the environment. That is the main reason why I do it. And I don't buy from fast fashion these days. I mean, the odd time I will slip up and I will buy from fast fashion, but I really, really try not to because I just don't like what it stands for. There's a lot of people who are living in poverty, who are working in horrible conditions in warehouses simply to make a top like this. You've been seeing like TikToks, people getting sheen packages and on the labels of their sheen clothes it literally says like send help. I just don't think it's ethical to wear clothes if people who made them are suffering. I love this jumper. It just fits my body really nicely. I don't know how to, it sounds weird when I say it like that. A nice winter jumper but it's not a baggy jumper that's unflattering. This top I thrifted when I was in England and it is one of my favorite tops I've ever bought. It flatters me so nicely. I would wear it out on a night out, maybe with this skirt and chunky black boots. Thrifted this yesterday. It's friends, of course. <laughs> really nice top to wear casually. If I was going to class, I would probably wear this with jeans, maybe baggy jeans, or I could just wear this lounging around the house or to bed. Like the last top, this is kind of just a pyjama top or a top to wear when I'm lounging around the house. I thought it was really girly girl, it was very cute. I got it, I think, for one pound. I was thinking that if I wanted to wear it out, I probably would like tighten it a wee bit. Yeah, so I probably would tighten it up if I was to wear it out just because that's i prefer to have like a tighter top if i'm wearing baggy trousers yeah thank you so much oh my goodness yum tuna and cheese toasty is the best this i thrifted yesterday this is originally from ted baker so you know she's bougie i really liked the look of it a little black skirt like this. These shoes that I got when I was in Amsterdam. So they are, is it naked wolf boots? It's supposed to be lookalikes to them. I would wear this maybe to dinner. A quick speed run of all my shirts. So I wouldn't necessarily style these all the same, but this sort of outfit idea I think is a really good foundation if you want to wear these sort of shirts. Got it for 99p. This is definitely a bit more out there. This top is actually from a brand called Oasis and this is exactly how I would style it. So I really like this shirt because it is fitted really nicely. It's not too long on the arms and it's nice and tight around the waist. This is originally from H&M. This is another top from Atmosphere, which I think is Primark. And now that I'm looking at it, it looks exactly like the white one that I first tried on. I don't really know if I like these little shoulder things. It kind of makes me look a little bit like a maid. Not the vibe I'm going for. Kick out the big chunky boots. This is the next top that I'm gonna show you. It is a black velvet corset. I kind of think it gives vampire vibes or Maleficent vibes. This is how I styled it when I went out in summer and red high heels. I like the fact that you can kind of wear it off the shoulders like this or you can wear it 
more higher up, but I think it looks nicer off the shoulders. This is how I dance. Okay, so this is a brown tank top I got for one pound. My color wheel, it says to stay away from brown. However, I think this brown is kind of kind of cool undertones to it. So it's not a warm brown, it's a cool brown, if that makes any sense. But yeah, so basically I think that I can wear it and that it does suit me. Very cute. However, got these jeans yesterday and they said they were size six. <laughs> These are not size 6. These are far too big. They're supposed to be a slouchy style. Ew, I hate, that, I hate that word. Supposed to slouch and they're supposed to look baggy. But then the crotch area, like this much out of place. So I don't know if it's meant to be baggy. But then I don't know if it looks nice baggy or if it looks weird baggy. Got this Levi t-shirt yesterday for three pounds. Really like it. So this skirt is originally from New Look. I really like this top because it is very flattering. It's black. It has a little hood at the back of it. This is a very summer outfit. A lot of this stuff I thrifted during summer or before summer, but for summer. So this skirt I thrifted in Barcelona. By far one of my favorite skirts I own because I think it's just very flattering and it goes with so many tops. This top is actually Gap Kids. This skirt is Bershka. Very nice, very cute. So I'm going to put on a pair of jeans that I thrifted last year. They're low-waisted flared jeans that I got off Depop, but I'm going to wear them just because I think it will go with the rest of these tops. Okay, so this is another one of my favorite tops that I've ever thrifted. It is originally from Topshop and I love it so, so much. I think it's very, very flattering. It's very cute right here. And I like the wee frills that it has. It's very elegant yet sexy. Well, I usually wouldn't necessarily go for these kind of tops. They kind of remind me of tops I would have worn to teenage discos when I was like 14, 13 years old. So I think I kind of stay away from them. But I also think they're very flattering and very cute. And they look really nice with these low rise jeans. So this is originally from Atmosphere, which again, I think is Primark. But this top is originally from H&M. If I picked this up, I would be like, no, put that back. But something about the lace I love. I love the look of the black lace on my arms. A little roughly part here. I don't know if it is kind of what makes the top or if it's what is kind of throwing me off. I think with the wee ruffle part, it kind of makes it look more casual. But yeah, it's not something that I would usually wear, but yet here I am wearing it. So this top was originally from Topshop. I actually thrifted this yesterday and I love it. I love this top so much. And I always did love Topshop a lot. Me and my friends would have always gone in there after school and just walked around, looked at everything and never ever buy anything because it was always so expensive. So you could wear it casually with black trousers or you could wear it on a night out with that black mini skirt I had earlier with my boots, my black boots. This is so nice. Like this is what I mean when you have to start thrifting because you find so many things that could fit you perfectly. And this was also three point. It's not only that you're getting a bargain, but again, you're not encouraging fast fashion, which is obviously bad for not only the environment, but people. So yeah, you better start thrifting after this video or else. So this is another top from Topshop. I'm guessing it was the same person that left these in. And I don't know why, but why did you put this in the charity shop? This is so nice. Yes. Ooh. I'm feeling myself. This is unreal. This is very bright, very in your face. I never wear this shade of green. I'm still not used to wearing really bright colors like green. Yeah, it's from the brand Brave Soul. I try not to. I, uh, <laughs> I try not to feel guilty when I do buy a lot of clothes because I know they're all from the charity shop. I know the money 
is going towards charity. I'm clearing out room for the workers so they can put more stuff in the shop. Not everything that you donate to secondhand stores is actually going to end up in the shop. A lot of it, I don't know exactly how much of it, but so many bags are put either in the dump or I think there's companies that buy um, per kilo and they just use the material for other stuff but a lot of it goes in the bin. I thrifted this for three pound and I love it. This is, bro, oh my gosh. The rain is crazy today. It's exactly the sort of top that I would have been looking for last year. I feel like these were very trendy last year. I would wear it with these trousers. I think that suits it really well. Maybe a big leather jacket over the top of it. I don't know, you tell me. Do people still shop from Pretty Little Thing? I feel like it's not as popular. I feel like Sheen has kind of taken that over. Like Sheen is more popular these days than Pretty Little Thing is. This is very much see-through. I'd only wear this maybe to a concert or on a night out. I feel like this is very 2015 vibes, but I kind of like it at the same time. I feel like this would be nice with white trousers. I mean, it's nice with these trousers, but like, if you had white cargoes, it could be cute. I probably wouldn't wear this anytime soon. I would definitely wear this in summer and I think it looks really cute with these jeans. I've never really been a tube top kind of gal, but I feel like because I have small boobs, I am very much capable of wearing these tops. I also think this color really suits me. I have to say my favorite colors are probably kind of like a burgundy red, midnight blue, a sage green, light blue, dusty pink, black. This top is from New Look. This is a UK size eight. I thought that was gonna be a UK size four. That was like tight on me. That is super cute. That is so cute. This I got when I was with my friend Eva. I kind of call this like my fairy skirt. And I think it goes well with this top. It'd be perfect if I was going to a little indie concert or indie festival. So this is kind of my fairy outfit. This is a fairy vibe outfit. And I really like this. I'm just wearing this black tank top so you can get a better idea of the skirts pattern of it. I think it's a little bit too long. I like the moons and the suns on it because I'm a spiritual girl. Very out of my comfort zone. It kind of gives me pirate vibes. But this skirt is very frilly, very cute. It has many, many layers. It's originally from Zara. I love this dress very much. I thrifted it a few months ago. I wore it to Billy Eilish. It's originally from Pull&Bear. So that is amazing. I thrifted this maybe at the start of August. It will have to take it in to wear to a wedding. And I actually do have a wedding coming up. It's a really pretty sage color. It also gives me fairy vibes. This one is actually from Hollister. It kind of looks like something that would have came out in the early 2000s. This is a super cute dress that I would definitely wear next summer. This is a peasant dress. It sounds weird when I say that, but these sort of dresses are described as peasant dresses. Again, it is quite see-through, but the more that I wear it, the more that I can't decide if it's nice or if it just kind of looks like it's a maid outfit. Be a bit too revealing. I'd have to wear a white bra. I could even wear this to bed, sure. I could feel like a little peasant girl when I'm going to bed. <laughs> I don't know why you would ever want that. Anyway, this is kind of like a high school musical dress. It's definitely for the early 2000s. This is from a brand called Warehouse. Peasant dress is from Wallace. This dress is actually a lipsy dress. When I was looking for birthday outfits, this was a possible birthday dress that I was gonna wear. I also kind of get fairy vibes from this dress because it's very flowy. Last but not least, I got this Gap hoodie yesterday. I really like it. I don't really have any navy jumpers and I really like the fit of it. Before I finish this video, I want to show you a few things that I have thrifted, accessories, etc. Little black bag. I use this all the time 
when I go out. I think it was only, yeah, it was only one pound. This gives me vintage pirate vibes. If I was to wear one of those little peasant dresses as I'm running through a field. These are the shoes that I got and they're not like too high so I could wear them a night out. These are originally from New Look. They are size four. They fit perfectly. I wear them a lot because their heel is like really chunky so it's easier to wear. And this is my favorite color, red. I thrifted this tote bag, which is an originally from Hugo Boss. So she's bougie. It's like really thick, so I feel like I could put my laptop in here. This would be perfect for uni time. I actually need to give it a wash. This digital camera. Yesterday it was like 22 degrees, and today it is like a storm. So a photo of my mom I took. A photo of the beach. I really like that one. Of a man and his dog I took. I thought the dog was really cute. I took this man reading a newspaper. A lot of things for my new bedroom. This, I painted this myself. No, I didn't. <laughs> I really liked it. I'm gonna hang it up on my wall. Even if my bedroom looks like a granny lives there. Pretty cute this glass bowl. This is really good to put your jewelry in. And this, how cute is that? Are three books that I thrifted yesterday. All of them were yesterday for 10p. That looked like a good book. The thing is that that annoys me is the fact that it's the final. Like if I really like this book, I will know what happens at the end because it's the last book. I feel like this is actually a series, a Netflix show or something. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry it was so long. I did not expect this to literally take me all day. I still haven't finished eating my sandwich, which is a tuna and cheese toasty. I had a fun time trying on everything, showing you, while also showing myself what I can do with these clothes. But yeah, I just wanna thank you for watching and I hope you have a fabulous day.